Alright, what's up Scorpio? When I'm recording this, the moon is now in your sign. Okay, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay, so we have the number 26, snow white and rose red, sister love. This is the thing, okay, I just want to let you guys know if you have been seeing a lot of birds around, um, there could be a feminine figure too specifically that are watching over you that passed over, but I'm also getting this energy where it's like y'all people, how can I explain this? It's almost like there's a feminine influence here. Like let's say y'all have a sister or something. I feel like someone has been helping you pick up the pieces. For example, if you're someone that went through a breakup, maybe there was a family member that kind of came to your aid. Like there's been people helping you. This could even be in the spiritual realm. Let me see. <sighs> Woo, who went through a breakup? What's happening here? Some of you guys are walking into a place where you are going to be finding friendships um, that you actually resonate with. It's giving me soul tribe type of energy. So we have the number 40, Dawn, the golden haired, and it's called duty. And then we also have um, the number four, Hansel, survival. Okay. And I'm stuttering this shit. Let me tell you this. I feel like um, for my Scorpios, y'all know how it is. Hard lessons phoenix energy i feel like we're at this place where we didn't just burned and we're rising up okay however i want to caution you guys to you know i can't tell you what to do because i don't know where you're at in your journey but you know try to ask yourself do you need to still be in survival mode or is it time for us to kind of relax a little bit i'm not saying ease up on what you're doing in regards of work but this is almost giving me this energy of being defensive all the time because you don't trust people maybe there's like this energy of a breakup still lingering around what happened but it's like there's people that want to connect with you i do see new energies coming in wanting to connect with you but y'all might miss out on an opportunity because there's this defensiveness here some of y'all feel like y'all gotta defend y'all territory now if that resonates for you and you feel like you're like nah p i do have to defend my territory then hey more power to you but with this survival i just feel like you guys have gotten through the storm or you're about to get through the storm and um i'm just hearing from spirit once y'all feel comfortable, you know, allow new experiences to come in. You don't have to be on guard. You can trust this, okay? Y'all been hard at work. Some of you guys are about to graduate. There's a sister-in-law here. And now on the flip side, if y'all date somebody and they got a messy ass sister, I see where they've been coming in between the relationship. Just gonna say that and then leave that alone. Okay, anyway happened the fuck out of whatever i just picked up on let's see for my scorpio sun moon rising venus okay what is it that they need to know right now what do my scorpios need to know right at the second that they're watching this y'all secretive right now not surprised we have the ten of cups what do they need to know right now a lot of people want to know how you did what you did how you doing what you doing there's a lot of people that want to celebrate you this is making me think that y'all got something coming up um obviously not a birthday well maybe for some of y'all i don't know like what signs y'all are but it's like there's an achievement here i feel like family is really at your aid give me one second we got the three of cups oh wow <laughs> well <sighs> let me see this energy you guys are very creative so if you guys want to put something out there in regards to creation do it not gonna lie though um there's a reconciliation here possibly like there's energy here of a reconciliation between someone um from the past but i'm also getting like a new energy too someone that's very similar to you there's this energy of coming together with uh, another water sign someone that gets you someone that like will nourish you i'm getting that it's getting deep like that this is someone that um i feel like is very much so your type this is a familiar energy. Some of y'all are already in a relationship. And if that's the case, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I see y'all relationship stepping up. So if y'all just talking, I see y'all being boyfriend, girlfriend, 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 boyfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Or if y'all already boyfriend, girlfriend, or, you know, in that stage, I see there could possibly be a proposal of a marriage. Someone taking y'all out on a date. 
and it's crazy i feel like the reason why that's the first message to come through about what you need to know is because if you guys have been in this place of not really um feeling like your love life is popping or connections ain't really been popping i feel like that's why spirit was telling me to tell you to kind of ease up on your defenses a little bit because there is something promising coming in okay period point blank blessings coming in for scorpios Ooh. this five of wands keeps coming up for everybody why they competing with you? They competing by themselves, okay? I see you guys beating out the competition, okay? I also see you guys removing yourself out of an environment that I feel like is putting you in this survival mode. You know, this could be a toxic work environment. This could be people always judging you. I don't know. I just feel you, like you guys are coming out of this place of always feeling like you got to be on guard, fighting, fighting yourself, fighting inner demons, outer demons. It's like always in fight mode i feel like that's the blessing you guys are transitioning out of that blessings coming to a scorpio okay we have the high priestess three of pentacles and the nine of swords so this is the thing um i just want to let you guys know you're not tripping the things that come to your mind you guys are very intuitive and i also feel like there's someone here that's very creative if you guys have been thinking about collaborating or putting together some type of um, plan, idea, I don't know why I just heard box, but like if you guys have been wanting to put something out there, do it, you know? I feel like y'all have the skills to be able to make this happen. It's just this energy of are you going to self-sabotage it by overthinking or letting your insecurities get in the way, you know? I feel like y'all have a tendency to keep your talents hidden. <laughs> And it's like, we're done with that. Put it out there. With this High Priestess 2 and this Three of Pentacles, I feel like what you guys don't see coming is a new opportunity in work. Um, let's say if you're doing an internship, I feel like it's almost like you guys are completing some stage of what you already do for work. And now somebody is seeing that. This is like something that you're not aware of. You might be picking up on it because I do feel like you guys are very intuitive. But I feel like there's someone that actually wants to really work with you. Let me see who this person is. This is someone trying to give you a job offer. Who is this person that wants to work with Scorpio? <laughs> we have the devil card. This could be a Capricorn. This person is a workaholic, honey. Nine of Pentacles. They sexy too. Oh shit. <laughs> might be mixing business with pleasure for some of you guys but anyway so with this nine of pentacles and the devil card i'm seeing capricorn energy virgo energy i feel like there's someone that wants to work with you guys they could do something with fitness it doesn't have to be because i am getting like a only fans or like a body type of energy i know we just kind of like went there um but whoever this is there's someone that has their own business um and they're a workaholic i do feel like they're kind of high up um, in some capacity or they know what the fuck they're doing they're gonna want to work with you or collaborate with you with this queen of swords some of you guys could be an air sign earth sign or not an air sign or an earth sign well yeah some of y'all could be an air sign or an earth sign with scorpio placements um i see you guys being on defense about this though so use your discernment if you feel like you don't want to work with this motherfucker then don't but i just see really good opportunities coming in it's like i'm seeing opportunities at the wazoo y'all got a very promising opportunity in work and I see a promising opportunity in love and it's so crazy um, because we did just have the seven of cups so I feel like there's multiple choices but sometimes when I'm reading tarot and I, I get like multiple choices or someone having multiple opportunities it's like little stuff like I'm saying oh you might could do this it's like more of a thought this is like stuff that's like ready it's prepped this is a meal that's already prepped in its container ready for you to just pop it in the microwave like this is what it's giving so they're very there are very promising things coming your way but it's like y'all have been in such a, a place of for some of you guys it could have been lack Maybe y'all been, like I said, in that fight or flight mode, that survival mode. So it's like, it's just natural for you guys to question this. Like, and not even just question it, but also question yourself. So let me see what your advice is. Advice for my Scorpios moving through this period where all these opportunities are coming in. 
page of pentacles allow yourself to be taught allow yourself to move into this new energy are y'all likely going to be uncomfortable yes will you have to kind of take a back seat not really a back seat but some of you guys are used to being you know up there <laughs> some of y'all might have to take a step back and learn okay and you know some of y'all are like okay I'm, I'm okay with that you know this is new this is like starting a new job starting a new position learning a new skill i feel like there's this energy of 1010 was just on the um camera of just being open to learn being open to start this being open to plant this seed okay um let me see advice and being confident in yourself queen of pentacles yes because this is the thing whatever y'all got going on whether you're masculine or feminine y'all have the tendency or y'all have the ability to transform anything you know this already like the phoenix energy level up you knew this already like i'm not telling you nothing new once you guys allow yourself to take that first step i was just telling gemini this with this page of pentacles take up the offer yes it might seem like you're not really fully you know qualified which y'all really are <laughs> so stop questioning yourself but anyway i just see where there's going to be this huge level up you're going from the page of pentacles to the queen of pentacles like that as time goes on of course but just like that i mean look she's literally spilling abundance from her titties <laughs> no but for real i just see you guys becoming more stable in money so when these new opportunities come in this is why i keep having to come back to this please don't overthink it please don't self-sabotage it please don't be super defensive i'm not saying don't use your discernment but i do feel like there is a little bit of an illusion around how you see yourself and how you see opportunities maybe um like myself when good things come you always feel like there's something bad that's gonna happen or there's this fear of someone taking it away or you know you self-sabotage because it's almost like when people date people and like you always hear like how there could be someone that would like cheated and they're like oh well i just wanted to get you before you got me yeah don't do that right now okay because i feel like there's something here that's going to really put you in the spotlight for those that want to be but it's also going to bring you like the bag this is new money this is a level of this is a, a big fat ass promotion being skilled in what you do being good you ain't got to do shit. this is almost giving me empress energy mixed with a little bit of the star and the queen of pentacles this is good energy I mean, you just almost like jump like <laughs> times three quick. Okay, so let's see. What's happening in love for Scorpio? Messages about career. Okay, someone that y'all broke up with, ended something with, y'all might be ending something with. Or there's like a revisiting something with somebody that y'all left off on bad terms with. What's happening in career? Like I said, okay <laughs> hold up i gotta pick a side so let me start with career overall you guys i see career looking really good let me see what your advice is i see you guys are accomplishing something um you know we're done here we did that we're done here we're moving forward but also you guys don't move too quick celebrate yourself <laughs> with the hangman some of you guys are always looking for the next best thing y'all don't sit back and congratulate yourself so make sure you do that also once you do make these accomplishments or decide to move forward maybe you're leaving a job or just closing out a specific cycle um don't move too fast into the next thing you know, although I'm saying take these opportunities, look into these opportunities, don't move too fast. Even right now, like I'm talking fast, maybe, but this is not as fast and as ungrounded as Gemini and Pisces reading was, which is, it's almost giving me like a, I just heard method man or uh, methodical. It's like giving me this energy where you guys kind of know you kind of got to analyze the situation and don't be scared to do that. Sit back. And this is not just a sit back energy and like a wait type of energy. This is a sit back and looking at, okay, I want to do this. I want to be a millionaire. I want that job. I want to do this. I want to put my business out there. I want to start a clothing line. Um, but it's like, okay, so what do I need to sacrifice? Because there are some sacrifices that need to be made. There needs to be a sense of simplifying so that you can move into this. Also, do not let your family talk you out of doing things that you want to do. That's for some of y'all. We have the Three of Swords and the Death card. Yep. I see some of you guys ending a connection. Um, yeah, it, it's just giving that. Some of y'all have been in this back and forth. Uh, this could be energetically. This could be physically. Like there's been this back and forth with an ex or maybe even trying to tap in to see what an ex is doing. I feel like you guys are putting an end to that because you're just like, I want better. I want new. I, I, why dwell here when I could have this? Some of you guys are also still healing from something. We have the Six of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. There's something else here. Now, it's going to be totally up to you guys. 
uh, y'all might be finding out, and I feel like y'all already found this out, about a partner's um, infidelities. Or there could be like a resurfacing about some type of loss, some type of pain, some type of lie, some type of disturbance in a connection. It's crazy because some of you guys are going to choose to end this and just be like, okay, I'm done with this. But there's also this energy where there's like a separation to an eight of pentacles, six of pentacles type of energy where it's like some of y'all might decide to work on this or... Some of y'all just gonna be so fucking fed up with people. You see, there's two people down here, and there's someone up here. And you know, yes, this can be a charity card, but I just feel like, listen, the way this person looks and the way I'm reading this, this person is looking elsewhere. They're like, you know what, I'm taking my, my coins, my love, my affection, what I have to offer, and I'm gonna go over here. I'm not fucking with y'all no more. So I just feel like there's this energy where someone could, you could be on your last straw with somebody. Yep, the Empress. You could be on your last straw with somebody. So I would say if someone has been acting up, they better tread carefully. I see uh, some karma playing out for them exes that did you dirty. The Empress card. You looking real good. Body looking good. I'm telling y'all, when y'all start to prioritize yourself, when you start loving on yourself, romanticizing yourself, understanding that you are the shit, you're going to radiate this Empress and even this Emperor energy. Even if you're a male or, yeah, I was going to say a uh, masculine, but even if you're a male here and a masculine male, okay, with this Empress energy, this is like, I can see other feminines or other masculines, whatever you like, other females or other men, whatever you like, I can see them giving to you. People are going to want to give to you, giving you opportunities. When I think of the Empress, I think of Divine Feminine, that wanting to receive, receiving opportunities, not having to do much. You're just sitting there looking pretty, looking handsome, and things are just coming towards you. You're not in survival mode no more. You think the Empress is sitting there in survival mode? No, she's just being. Because that's all you got to do, Scorpio. <laughs> Because period. Let's keep going. So that's what I feel like you guys are transitioning out of. Um, why did I just hear back to the lab again? What is that off of? Is that Dexter? Some of you guys are working on a project. Don't be scared to revisit something. I'm not talking about relationships. I mean, if you want to, you can. But I'm talking about like certain ideas because there's something here that's going to be very successful. Okay, messages um, for my Scorpio. Sun will rise Venus. Okay, especially for my sun moons and my risings. Happy family in reverse. I don't know. I feel like you guys are going to be really looking around at the people around you and saying, okay, are you good or not? Nah? Are you good for me or not? Nah? Are you doing something with your life or not? Nah? Are you holding me back? Um, it makes me think of that quote. I can't think about it right now. It's late. Where they be like, oh, um, your friends, like... What do they say? Like, your, your friends reflect to you like... Like, you're like the average of your five friends or something like that. So I feel like you guys are going to be really doing a deep dive on who you want in your environment and who you don't want in your environment. We also have this storm warning. Um, I feel like if you guys... There's something here happening with the relationship, and I don't know what this is. Uh, it, it, it's not going to be for everybody. Like, if your relationship is going good, it, this is not for y'all. Um, and the only way I can see that being for y'all is if, like, someone's ex comes back in the picture. Or they try to. But this is more so giving me, there's, like, this unexpected emotion coming through. Something that might have, should have been talked about a long time ago, but it's resurfacing. You know... If you and your person or you and your family members want to work on this, there might be a need to be open and honest about the communication. It's like you guys are keeping a lot in and we need to find an outlet on how to let that out so that it can come out healthily. Because I, I do see y'all kind of being at this point where y'all about to snap on somebody. I don't know. Um, possibly. I also see a little bit of something unexpected happening with the home. This could be a bill. This could also be um, something with family. I literally am getting something around a relationship. Okay, but let me see. Messages for Scorpio. Oh, look at this. We got hostilities. Ooh, messages for Scorpios. That's crazy. I literally flipped my head over and we got contract in reverse. So what I wanted to say was look at the fine print, but it's not that. It's like there's something that you guys have around you that you're not seeing clearly. I feel like this is possibly a person because I just got karmic connection. It's like you don't have to go back to this. 
and put yourself back in that cycle. You could have new, okay? And I'm just gonna leave it there. Anything else for my Scorpios? Not this coming out, y'all. This is literally upright. Community in reverse. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. You know, all I'm gonna say is this. Know your worth, Scorpio. You don't have to keep going back to people that don't recognize what you bring to the table or even just people putting you in third parties. Um, you don't have to be around fake-ass friends. Um, and even if they're not fake, you don't have to stay in the same place or same job that everybody wants you to stay in. You know, follow you. Follow the North Node. Follow your purpose. Put you first, okay? Let's see. Any other energies from my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus that they need to be aware of? This is a very grounded energy that I'm picking up on. It gets flighty a little bit, but it's not as bad as the other piles. Let's see. We have the number four cancer energy. So something about in the house. That's so crazy. We also have the north node and we have the second, um, the second house. So we have the fourth house and the second house. Whew. Something could be happening on the fourth and the second of next month, whenever you're seeing this, but I'm also getting this energy. I'm telling y'all, if you guys study your chart, look at your north node and your south node. I feel like that's going to help you. Um, just kind of give you a little bit of a sense of what you should be maybe looking into, of what you want to learn this lifetime, you know, if that's what you're into. Like, definitely look at that. You can find a lot of your hidden talents there and things to work on in this lifetime and what to do. Blase skip, right? I'm also seeing um, there's this emphasis on home, family rebuilding connections and also your possessions so all i'm gonna say is this if you guys feel a little stuffy like if your house is feeling a little bit stuffy you know maybe clean do some spring cleaning some cleaning period but i'm also seeing um like it's like there's an emphasis on your belongings there's like good energy around your belongings so maybe you're getting new furniture a new home um let me see what are they trying to tell me about this Body looking good, Pluto energy, and we have the 11th. Let me tell y'all something. It's crazy. Okay, there are a lot of people looking at what you do and how you do it. There's a lot of people that admire you. Y'all might even have a lot of people obsessed with y'all. Y'all don't even know. Um, but there's also a lot of people that want to be in your environment. So, you know, use your discernment, but I'm not going to lie. With that 11th house coming through and that Pluto, listen, there's a lot of unexpected energy around people popping back up, okay? So, yes, that's what I'm seeing for my Scorpios. Let me see if there's anything else I want to pull. It's not, okay? Please let me know how that resonates, and I'll see you guys down below in the comments.